why i said pranayama should be reintroduced back to all the schools universities and the workplace which has been removed during the invasion or colonization of our country or countries around the world because you have understood when you do the pranayama the nostril blot the first anuloma will you yourself felt it that the pipelines are getting cleared without the path getting, getting cleared you cannot take the life forward and by doing the pranayama nostril blot the stomach gets pumped you feel very healthy you are given energy power to the lungs and then the heart becomes powerful and when it is not done it is blocked and when it is blocked you send them to the hospitals and the hospitals give you medicine to suppress it up that suppression is nothing but slavery gulama come out of the gulama it, your eye become powerful you don't have to go to the eye doctor and children need students university members teaching me everybody don't need glasses they need powerful eyes you need hearing power and the brain functions you don't become slow learners when the brain is functioning you become more younger like the nigerian doctor was checked 108 years old he said what is the success of your story you're looking like a 40 year old man and he said i make my mental brain work and pranayama helps it to the uh, the cells lying idle in the brain starts waking up so university schools and all the work places should compulsory make pranayama a part of the daily routine and they can see they are not going to make them masters they are not going to make them slaves but they can see all the workplaces looks energized with truth and godly power